Hey YouTubers, this is Rob Muffet. Thanks for watching another of my videos. This video is about something I made a while back. It's uh, one of the goofiest items I've made in a long time. If you're a regular watcher, you know I'm not really a great woodworker or a great craftsman. Uh, what I like to do for fun is to improvise. Take something that's being thrown away and find a new use for it. Buy something low cost and push the limits of what it was really intended for. That's fun for me. But improvising has drawbacks. Uh, it's, it's good to take the road less travel, but <laughs> sometimes there's good reasons not to go down that road. Uh, the other day, I saw yardsticks on sale for 29 cents a piece at the hardware store. I could not help myself. <laughs> this is the first thing I have found to use the yardsticks for. See what I'm talking about? <laughs> There is no practical use for building a yardstick fishing rod. It'll work for panfish, but it's heavy and frazzle and, and cause you to be ostracized by even the Cuban yo-yo and lowly cane fishermen, probably. <laughs> the best use for this odd rod is most likely a gag or joke gift to give a friend with a sense of humor who has received a lot of tickets from the fish and game warden for catching and keeping the wrong size fish. The construction details are quite simple. The eyes are PVC that have been filed flat on one side to hot glue to the stick. The end is two pieces and is glued and tied very securely. It came out really good. The two piece metal connector is just a soup can that was cut open and bent around the block of wood to make a rectangular metal socket and then taped up. To secure the two sticks in the socket, a long wooden shim is inserted. It works perfect. A shim also secures the PVC handle, which has a $5 eBay reel wired and taped to it. Everything for this yardstick rod costs under a dollar. Now the frog lure, the frog lure costs about $7. I think you can guess what I'm going to be improvising next. <laughs> Thanks everybody. See you out there. 